Hello everyone, happy Vlogoween. Today's video is going to be short because I am short on time and I was also short on battery when I shot this video. I am on the hunt for some particular plants which I know will repel the wasps that have invaded Spokane and its neighboring regions. Due to the mild winter, more wasps survived the cold and reproduced, which means that more wasps exist and because of that, they've basically eaten through their entire food source earlier than they would have expected. When wasps run out of food, they get hangry, and they come after pretty much anything that looks or smells like it might taste good, and that includes human beings and pets. Wasps bite and sting. They bite because they're hungry, and they sting because they're mad, and unlike bees, wasps do not lose their stinger when they sting you. Luckily, I live in an area where plants are really easy to propagate and keep alive, which means that there are plenty of nurseries in all of the regions in and around Spokane. I chose this one because it had some great reviews. Yes, it was quite a bit out of my way, but I do feel like it was worth it to go. The plants were inexpensive, especially considering they were on the clearance rack because they're out of season. I went in with a, a bit of a grocery list just in case they were out of some of the things I was looking for, and as it turns out, they were. But I ended up leaving with some really powerhouse herbs. I got lavender, mint, eucalyptus, and what appears to be a sage of some kind. The great thing about all of these is they should repel the wasps without repelling the pollinators. Not to say that I have a lot of plants in my back patio, but I definitely want to make sure that bees are still coming to visit. My next stop, and unfortunately I did not get a video of this, was to a few rummage sales and thrift stores on the edges of town, and I ended up finding this really cool rack, very useful, very sturdy, for 99 cents. It was exactly what I was looking for, and it's a great little host for my plants. Now that I have these plants out here by my door and where I usually sit to do work outside, I'm less concerned that mosquitoes or wasps are going to come after me. The wasps have been a particular concern of mine, specifically because they are yellow jackets, which are a very aggressive form of wasp, and um, as a result, I haven't been getting as much outside time as I would like. When I do go outside, I make sure that I am covered head to toe with thick cloth which is easy to do when you live in an area like this where it's normally pretty cold outside or at least moderate temperature. Unfortunately, due to the high temperatures, uh, it's just not been very feasible. So I'm looking forward to the positive effects that these plants will have on my ability to spend time outside. Thanks for coming with me today to do this. Um, I know it was a short video and uh, I don't really have anything else to add. So I'll see you next time. Happy Vlogoween.